Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my Surat video tutorials. Today, I'm going to show you how to know the text file single cell RNA sequencing data into R. So the data that I'm using for today's demonstration is GSE one four seven two eight five. If you search a uh, this data set in Google, we can find the next link and also down here you can see uh, we previously analyzed the next data set and published some research papers. If you click the link, then we can see the data set. So this data set performed single cell RNA sequencing analysis on mouse uh, sciatic level before injury and uh, three days after injury. So I'm going to download the uh, intact uh, sciatic level sequencing data for today's uh, demonstration. We can select the next one is uh, uninjured sciatic level. We can download it. We can go to uh, the download folder. You can see the data is here. It is a uh, compress the data so we can unzip it. We need to unzip it again. Now you can see the data is in a txt file. We can press and open it. You can see uh, in the data set we have the barcode, the count, and the genes. So now we can read the data into R. So in R, we have a function called a read the name to create a data frame from txt files. So let's go ahead and read uh, the data into R. You can see we created a data frame. If we see the class of uh, the data frame we named as the static now you can see it is a data frame. And let's have a look the data frame. So you can see the gene names are in column one. They are not uh, in row names, so we need to uh, make some changes. So we can uh, get the gene information from the data frame named as the gene. Then we can then we can assign the genes to the row names. Let's run. Now we can have a look at the data frame again. You can see now the uh, row names are gene names, but we still have the genes in the column one. So we need to uh, delete gene names in column one. Let's have a look at the data frame again. You can see the first column is not a gene anymore. So we created a proper data frame. So the moment is a, a data frame. So we can use the um, function as a matrix to uh, change the property of the data frame. If we run a this function and uh, have a look the class static level again, you can see now, so it is a <coughs> matrix array data now. Now we can uh, use the create through at object function to create a throughout object. If we run this function, you will see uh, the data change from large matrix data to a throughout object. So you can follow my previous videos to analyze this data set. So if you like my video tutorials, please click the subscribe button at the end of my video after you watched it.